Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-April 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Um, as always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you the remainder of this month. Um, also, if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, it helps me really greatly, but you'll also be notified when I post videos in the future. But with that being said, let's go and jump in and get started. Uh, one more quick thing, no matter when you find this video, a few days before the middle of the month, a few days after the middle of the month, you'll find it when you need Scorpio. But let's go and jump in and get started, and call number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close for so the last few weeks or a month. We're going to do a general um, end of April column, we're going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a healing note, and a healing crystal of the month. But let's take a look here and see, we're going to pull a summary card. We have the card repetition. Repetition is one of the ways, one of the many ways that we get good at something. Um, so you could have been practicing something the last few months, Scorpio, or honestly, things could have just felt really repetitive in life. But let's see what messages we've got here. Let's see what we've got going on. Our first card is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card that indicates a desire for long-term security. So likely you've been focused on something long term, focusing on the future, um, but this is an indicator of your desire for long term security. The next card that we have is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress, exhaustion, having too many burdens. Um, I do think that like a lot of you could be burnt out from like doing the same thing over and over again with that repetition card. If you look at this person, this card, this person is like hunched over into the bundle of wands. They're carrying so many things and they're like crying into the bundle of wands. Again, you're holding so many things, you're doing so many things. It is definitely a card of stress and exhaustion. Luckily, this is the column that's wrapping up and coming to a close. So if you have been feeling overburdened, stressed, exhausted lately, um, this should be coming to an end for you. Last but not least, we have the Five of Cups at the bottom. The Five of Cups is a card of loss, regret, grief, um, a card of low feelings. If you look at this person, they're dressed in all black, their head is hanging low, and they're almost like grieving those spilled cups. Um, so this could be a continuation of those burnout feelings, but there could also be something else that's sad that you could be grieving or feeling those low feelings towards. But let's clarify and see what other messages we have. The first clarifying card we have is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a very supportive card. It's very tolerant, very empathetic. Um, this is also a card of a leader. Um, leader being the strong word here. It makes sense because I feel like you're trying to lead yourself to a better future right now, Scorpio. Um, so between this leadership card and the desire for long-term security, those two parallel and make total sense. The next card that we have is the Knight of Wands. This is a very free-spirited card, a very creative card. Um, again, I do feel like a lot of you are burnt out on the repetition. You're like doing the same thing every day. It's very rigid. It's very black and white. We don't have that flexibility, that ability to innovate or be creative. Um, however, again, this is what's wrapping up and coming to a close for you. So this kind of rigor, this burnout that you're feeling should be a thing of the past here if it hasn't already been for you. Then we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a card of um, having to make a decision or sometimes it's a card of compromise. So some of you could have made a decision or there was something you had to compromise on. And that's what's resulting in these low feelings that we relate to the Five of Cups. Let's take a look though at our next column, which is in general what's gonna happen through the end of April, Scorpio. We have the card Preservation. When I see this card, it's a good reminder to make sure you're preserving your energy, your time, your words. It could even be your money. Um, preservation, though, is the message. Let's see what other messages we can get in this next column, though. The first card we have is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about waiting for results um, or having to make a choice. Um, I feel like... 
this is going to be more of a decision than waiting, but some of you could be waiting. We're going to clarify this card, but decision seems to be the word that's sticking out here. Some of you could also be traveling at the end of April to um, the Two of Wands is definitely a travel card as well. The next card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a really great money card. It's a card of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain. It is a card of solo pleasures too. So it's always a good reminder to take some time for yourself. But I do think that there will be some financial gains going into the end of the month. Possibly you've been waiting for this money to come in. Um, but we'll see. Again, we'll clarify that message there. Then at the bottom we have the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, it is a card of newness. With the Ace of Swords, this is new idea, um, new mental clarity. Um, <clears throat> somehow this card and the Preservation card are connected here. Um, by preserving your energy, there seems to be a new idea that's coming about or some new mental clarity that's coming from this Preservation of Energy. Um, but let's see what other clarifying messages I can give you here. The Two of Pentacles. Um, this is a card of having to make a choice. So again, you do have the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, both being a choice card. Um, but this can also be weighing your options. So some of you could be even waiting to make a decision because you're needing to weigh your options and think through everything. So as you make a decision, I would say be very thoughtful. The Two of Pentacles, again, is a card of weighing options. And then the Two of Wands there is a card of waiting. So maybe don't make any hasty decisions. Uh, be very thoughtful. Take your time and do weigh your options on whatever this decision is that you're making. The next card that we have is the Justice card. Anytime you have the Justice card, the Justice card is a card that's favorable for you. I like to point that out. Start with Scorpio. Um, this is a good card as it relates to contracts, legal type items, um, lawsuits, anything related to the courts. Um, so this money could be coming from the courts or a contract or something of legal matter. Um, but the Justice card is like cause and effect, win-win solutions. Um, this money that could be coming in outside of legal or contract, it could also be like something that you've been working very really hard to or very hard for, again, with that cause and effect type energy. It's like you did this and now you're being financially rewarded. At the bottom, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a very fast paced card. You see how quickly the horse and rider are both, both moving on this card. Um, it also indicates a lifestyle change. So, Whatever is happening with this energy, with the Ace of Swords, this new idea or this new mental clarity, it's really going to give you a new outlook on life and it's going to be like a life-changing type incident. Now we're going to take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, anything <coughs> associated with money. Sorry, Scorpio, still getting over a cold here. The first card though we have is the Devil card. The Devil card is a card of greed, um, obsession, addiction. It's kind of like hyper-focusing on things. Um, obsession is the word there. Um, I think that this is kind of like a blanket statement, Scorpio, but and I hate to say it in this fashion, but do make sure that you're not doing anything that is like considered greedy this month or going into the end of this month. Also, be very cautious if you do get this lump sum of money on how you spend it. Like, don't be envious of something that your friend did and then you go out and buy that same thing. Um, so, I'm getting this as like kind of a reminder just to make good money choices going into the end of the month. I know that's a very broad blanket statement, but that's the message that I'm getting. The next card that we have is the Tower card. The Tower card is an unwanted change typically, but it is usually a necessary change. So even though things don't work out exactly the way we want them to, they do work out in a good way. So let's say you wanted A, B, C to happen, but with the Tower card, D, E, F happens instead. Again, it's still beneficial to you. It's still going to be putting you on the right path. But I would say that there's going to be something that comes up that's not quite the way you wanted. Maybe you wanted Project A and you get assigned to Project B at work. Um, those kind of situations. 
So at the bottom we have the Queen of Pentacles. I like when I have the Queen of Pentacles in the bunny column. Um, it's a very resourceful card, and when we're resourceful, that means we're making good money choices. Um, so in general, just a good card to see for money. But let's clarify and see what other messages we can have here. We have the Three of Swords at the top. The Three of Swords is a card of like heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression. So these really low feelings. Um, again, this is just like saying that we need to be careful with money. Um, like let's say you go through a breakup and I'm not saying you're going to, just an example here, Scorpio. Like, oh, I just went through a breakup. I'm gonna go buy these new pair of shoes. Like that might not be the best money choice. Um, so don't make emotional money decisions either, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so be very thoughtful with your emotions and how they connect with money this month. Um, don't be envious, don't be materialistic this month. Um, even if you're like planning on buying something, it could be worthwhile to put it off for a few weeks, assuming that you can. The next card that we have is the Sun card. The Sun card is a really, really good card. It's a card of material happiness, joyous outcomes, success. What I was saying with the Tower card is like, it is always favorable for you. So even though it might not be what you thought you wanted, it is a good move. The Sun card's definitely saying that. So back to the example of you wanted Project A and you get Project B instead. Project B is going to make you very, very happy, very, very successful. So whatever this bump in the road is or this change that you didn't think you wanted, it's gonna take you to a good place, Scorpio. The next card that we have is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card um, with quite a few meanings, honestly, but this is oftentimes, especially when I see it in the money column, this is like a card of unexpected or surprise gifts. Um, I would say that there is definitely like going to be a promotion or a raise or some sort of bonus for you, which makes sense because we do have the, the resourceful card here. So again, I would say that this is just another good money card, but I do think some of you can expect a surprise gift of money going into the end of April as well. Now we're going to take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So this could be family, friends. Uh, relationships, children, anything that you associate with love. The first card that we have is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands, anytime we have an Ace card is a card of newness. So if you're hoping for a new relationship, I would say that this is a good card for you. But typically this is like new project or new inspiration to create. Some of you could be deciding that you're ready to expand your family. Um, maybe you are wanting to buy a house or move in together. Again, that urge to create, there's something new on the horizon for you when we see that Ace of Wands card. The next card that we have is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restriction, isolation. Um, some of you could be isolating this month. Um, some of you could feel like you like have a block on love though. And this is a reminder that this is self-imposed. If you look at this card, um, this person's eyes are blindfolded, their arms are bound down, but then all these swords are stuck into the ground. So this person could very easily scoot back and cut themselves free. Um, so if you're feeling like you're not getting something that you want as it relates to love, Scorpio, do take a good look at yourself, situation, and make sure that this is not a self-imposed restriction. Um, in terms of isolation, some of you could just need some time to yourself this month too. Um, nothing wrong with that at all, whether you're single, in a relationship, married, whatever it may be. A long time is always a good thing too. The next card that we have is the Chariot card. The Chariot card is a vroom vroom card. Um, it means there's action, there's change, you're on a journey. And again, this could apply if you're single or in a relationship. Um, if you are single and pursuing a relationship, I do think this is a good indicator you're getting ready to start that new journey. If you are in a committed relationship, I do think that this is good too. It's saying that you're kind of moving forward, you're moving into that next step. Um, into that new stage of the relationship. Regardless, you are on a journey as it relates to love. 
The first clarifying card we have is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is a card of resting, retreating. Another word for this is solitude. Uh, I'm going to connect this to the that Eight of Swords card that we had before. Make you sure you're taking time for yourself to rest, recover. Have a little bit of you time this month, Scorpio. We also have the Hermit card. The Hermit card is about going within for clarity, making sure you're on your own personal quest, making sure that you're doing what's best for you. Um, again, if you're feeling a certain way or feeling like you're not getting what you want out of your love life, you need to take a good look at the situation and the hermit saying the same thing. Is this really what you want? Is this what you've been hoping for? Does this align with your future goals? So make sure you're in tune with yourself here, Scorpio, and that you're getting what you want and that you're not limiting yourself as well. Then at the bottom we have the lover's card. Obviously you can't ask for a better card in the love column than the lover's card. The lover's card is a card of partnership, deep love, strength together. So again, whether you're single, you're in a relationship, um, I feel like this is a very strong re relationship in the making, um, regardless of where you're at. So wonderful, wonderful love card to end there. Part of that journey with the chariot is getting to that lover's situation. Now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card Unity. Um, so definitely make sure that you have unity between yourself, those around you. You see this person is grabbing the globe, so being unified with the world as well. But let's see what messages we have coming through for this column. So again, a message from our future self, our spirit guides. Something to carry into the end of April. The first card that we have is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a very curious card. It's a card of gossip, drama, it could be like water cooler talk, or it could be like truth coming out. Um, I feel like when I see this card, it's usually like an indicator like to try and stay above the fray, stay away from the gossip, stay away from the drama. Um, but some of you could be finding out some truth too that's bothering you just given the, the remainder of the two spreads or engaging in this gossip could take you down to a not very good place. But let's keep reading through these. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a card of nightmare, anxiety, worry. Um, it could also be like grief or depression, but typically it's like something is bothering you so bad that you're like sitting up in bed awake about it. So do keep that in mind. Um, again, that could be that truth coming out or engaging in this gossip could really bother you. We have the Ten of Swords as well, which is a card of very low feelings. Um, this card is explained as like rock bottom. You see this person is laying here with swords stuck in them and the card's very gloomy. Um, so again, some of you could be really bothered by some information that you find out, whether it's like truth coming out or it's kind of that gossipy type information. But let's see. The first card we have is the Chariot. We talked about the Chariot er earlier being that kind of room, room card, being on a journey. I will say that this like truth or this gossip has been like brewing for a while is the message that's coming there. The next card we have is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card of that long-term desire. We had long-term desire earlier. I have a feeling that some of you think that this is like really going to impact you long-term. And I'm gonna say the message that I'm getting is like, this is actually very short term, although it feels like a big deal. It's not going to end up being a big deal in the long run. But I do feel like you feel like this news or this gossip is like going to have a huge impact on you. Um, that's what I'm getting with that Four of Pentacles and Ten of Swords together. Then at the bottom here, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of theft, betrayal, dishonesty. Um, I do feel like likely the gossip or the true truth you hear about will be related to theft, betrayal, dishonesty. Um, so just keep that in mind. Again, I know this feels really big as it comes up, Scorpio, but it won't be big in the long run. Um, but this is overall a really good reading, so don't let this take you down the rabbit hole. It's more of just kind of a warning or, again, something to take into the end of the month with you. At this point in time, though, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the Nine of Hearts. This is the number 16 card. That's going to be a yes. 
Question number two is the nine of spades. This is the number 41 card. That's also a yes. And question number three, we have the seven of spades, the number 25 card. That's going to be a no. So yes, yes, no for you, Scorpio. If you watched our video earlier this month, we did pull a card from the Healing Stone stack, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of April. Your crystal of the month is Rose Quartz, which helps with softness, love, gentle but firm, and helps you be overall more lovable. Uh, Rose Quartz is also a really wonderful self-love crystal. And then last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Let's see what it says. Love creates miracles, heals all wounds, and purifies all energies. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates for you. Um, again, when you subscribe, that helps me really greatly. And you'll be notified when I post videos in the future. If you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you again, Scorpio, and have a wonderful April.